we got a call, 36 hour notice, to uh, pack our bags and that we were going to be joining a unit that is going to be helping out with the COVID response here in New York City. What I was expecting was um, for the Army Reserves to pick me up and put me to work and that's exactly what happened. We quickly merged with the active duty component, Navy, Air Force, and uh, it being a small community, uh, found some familiar faces from previous deployments and uh, we all worked together to get the mission accomplished. I'd say the one thing that has helped significantly is the field training and joint emergency exercises that we've done at the 11th Field Hospital in conjunction with other joint services. I'm very, very proud of what I've accomplished here and what my team of CRNAs has accomplished here. Our training definitely prepares us to take on these types of patients, critical patients, and to uh, achieve whatever goals they set before us. Our care here has been outstanding. We've had oh, close to 1,100 patients come through here, and we've had six deaths. That says a lot for this, this team that I work with. I just want to take a moment to, to thank everyone who has supported me being here. Uh, special thanks to my family at home, my wife Allison, my daughter Evelyn, and my son Graham. Thank you so much for being strong and supporting me. Thank you to New York. Um, everybody's been absolutely amazing out there. Just want to thank my family for uh, being back home, holding down the home port. Uh, the colleagues that I've met here from the Joint Services of Air Force and Navy and then my Army brothers and sisters, they uh, definitely uh, stepped up right along with me, taking care of business. Lastly, I just want to thank uh, my family, uh, my colleagues, uh, and everyone else back at home that really stepped up to the plate and, uh, and filled in for me while I'm gone. Thanks.